My friends, many of you know that I have built my own custom sawmill, and after using it for several years, I've decided that I need to make a few improvements to it, and I'll tell you about one of those improvements right after this. Hello, my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Yes, I'm working on my homemade sawmill and I'm making a number of improvements to it. This video is about just one of those improvements and that improvement is that uh, one of the tires on one side of the trailer of the sawmill gets in my way when I'm pushing the carriage forward through the log. I walk on, I guess you'd say, the passenger side if you're if you're thinking of it as an automobile I'm walking on the passenger side of the sawmill that axle tire and everything kind of gets in my way I have to step over it or step around it as I'm pushing through the log so what I want to do is make that uh, wheel removable now this is an old trailer house axle that I used to put under my sawmill my belief is that there's a steel axle inside of a pipe that's my belief and I you know I figure it's going in there maybe six inches or more and I'm going to saw it off and then make it where I can insert it back in that tube and put a pin in it and then just use it here on the farm. It's not intended for high-speed use out on the highway though as it turned out it's probably fine if I did have to take it out on the highway. So without further ado here's some video on that whole process. Enjoy. Well, that's not working real well. You know, because the jack's in the way, I have to turn it a certain direction. I can't fit it in there. I have to try something else. Well, I'm going to try the power hacksaw here. I don't even have a good blade for it, so it's going to be kind of tough. And I can't get on this side at all. I want to cut it off real close. I'm going to have to try something else. Well, I put a jack stand under here uh, to hold this up and got rid of the little screw on jack here that's a little bit less in my way now. Let me see if I can cut from this side now. Maybe I can. Yep, I can do it from this side now. working. My hope is that there's another axle going inside this pipe and that way I can just slide it on and pin it but I'm not sure about that. Hard to tell whether it's working or not. I think it's getting close. happened. Yep, I think it worked. I think it broke loose. I didn't really know if it would work for sure or not, but I think it did. At least I think it did so far. I hope it's up in there far enough to make a difference. It may only be, barely be in there now. I'm going to raise this up to helpfully, hopefully pull this out of here. Yeah, wouldn't you know, it's barely in there. It's just barely in there. That's what I was afraid of. That's just my typical luck. Sawed it off right almost at the end of the steel axle. I, I knew, you know, I could have sawed it off here and I'd have had a little more, but I was hoping this went back in there four or five inches, you know. And it didn't, of course. Oh well, I'll figure out a better way to handle it. <clears throat> Once I got it off the trailer, I started taking an angle grinder and, and cutting these welds. And then I took a chisel and hammer and knocked off a piece of it. I sawed through it also this way and started knocking off pieces. And it still 
could use some more grinding probably but I'm gonna try knocking off another piece right here same size and it's not just one more problem now this piece here is, is smaller than this piece I was hoping to slide it in about this deep the only way I could do that would be to turn it on my uh, lathe and I'd have to do a lot of taking apart to get that to that far I'm not sure I want to go there but I might well I took it all apart I don't know if it'll do any good or not because I don't know if I can turn this thing on my little tiny lathe, but I'm going to give it a shot, I guess. Well, I realize this is not going to win any awards for best cinematography, but uh, I've got a backlight there that I can't really avoid, and I had to put the camera there to get it out of my way. So, we'll just do the best we can. I'm just amazed that I was able to get this thing mounted up in my lathe. I cut a new center in the end there, and I've got my live center on here, so I'm going to just run it in there a little ways and see uh, how much I need to take off. I know I'm going to need to take off quite a bit, so here we go. would have it right as I get to the point where I want to stop it gets real hard so I'm probably gonna have to stop a little sooner because it's it just changes I don't know what the problem is but it's changing I don't know I can't catch a break sometimes <music> darn it's still not round that's crazy I never would have thought that it's a trailer house axle I doubt it was built to very rigid specs to begin with I sharpened the cutter and made a couple more passes quite honestly it's maybe better but there's still a lot of chatter I guess this stuff's pretty hard I really don't know what the problem is but I might be turning it too fast I've slowed the feed rate down I'm gonna see if that works <music> surface doesn't look a whole lot better it still looks kind of chattery but we're getting there well I think that might be the last pass I know we're real close to the diameter this is still a little bigger than this by just a hair I'm sure but I would rather have a good tight fit in that pipe and I think this will be a little tighter than this of course so at least I'm gonna I guess take it out of here and see how well it fits I think I'll maybe do a little bit of sanding on it first just to smooth it out a little bit because it is kind of rough I think that'll let me get in there where I can sand it I think 
Yeah, I don't know where my sandpaper went, but I got this little short piece that ought to be good enough for now. Eh, pretty hot. So I'm going to take it out of there and see what the fit looks like. About a horse or two Well here's one more And I swear it's true The finest horse you've ever seen His name Now that's a really bad finish uh, I don't know why it's such a bad finish It just is I don't know just what the problem is But this lathe Sometimes it's pretty good But sometimes I get inconsistent results I'm not sure if that's going to fit in there now or not. It wouldn't go in there even after it cooled off. This end was still too large. I skimmed about 10 thousandths off this end. Hopefully that's going to make it work. Off camera I did a test fit and it fits up to about right here. Then it doesn't go. So, And it fits good and tight up to about right there. So I'm just going to try to take some more off back this way. I know I must be turning a slight taper. I tried to adjust this. I'm going to have to take time and adjust this and, and maybe get where I'm not turning a taper at all. But right now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to take a little more off this end here. He was Phantom 614, a proud young stallion with head held high. His cold light sat in under candlelight. His mane and tail, oh, how they sheen. His name was Phantom 614. Pretty bad finish again. I guess that maybe it's gotten dull again. I'm just going to take a file and see if I can knock that down. Well, I feel like I was cutting there. I don't know if it was enough. I'm going to go try another test fit. Well, it goes into right about there, and then it won't go any further. I knew that one day he'd be mine, and I would ride there like a king. Up on the back of 614, the trainer said, son, he can't be rode. But stay away, boy, or you'll be thrown. He said that horse is... Well, I had a dumb thought while I was doing that. I wonder if there's something on the inside that's stopping this from going any further. That turned pretty good that time, so I don't know. I think I'll take a file and just clean it up a little bit again. If this was a precision fit, I would have taken more time and care, but I just want to get this done. Well, after that one, I have a feeling it might go. I'm going to try it again. Well, it almost went that time. It went about halfway on this new section here. And I'm going to just take a file to it and work on that. And I think it's going to be fine. His name was Phantom 614. Well, that's pretty nice, actually. I think it's going to go now. I kind of think it will. It's going to be a tight fit. I know that. It's tight already up to, uh, up to this point. And if we could just get that last little bit to go, I think we'd be okay. Let me try and see if I can tell. Like, this area here is going. And we're at uh, 287 thousandths, it looks like. Let's try it here. We're about the same there now. It looks pretty good now. I'm going to think that's got to go, I would think. It went pretty far that time. I'm going to put a little penetrate, this little oil on here, this uh, WD, and that might help it. I imagine there's dirt up inside the pipe and things like that. So I'm going to spray a little bit of this up inside the pipe 
but I think it's going to go. It's a tight fit, which is kind of what I want. I can see air squeezing out, so it must be an airtight pipe. I can see air blowing out of here, and that might be what's stopping me. There it goes. That's about it right there, and that's, that's tight. I mean, there's no give in that or no play in that at all, which is good. So now I can just put a pin through here, and we're good to go. That, I'm not afraid of that breaking off. I mean, that right there would hold even if you took it out on the highway. I'm not worried about that at all. Well, there's a potential problem. This jack is going to probably hit the tire because uh, I've moved it in quite a bit. So this side's in further than that side is because of this. I kind of like that much in there. I think that's a good thing. I may just have to end up relocating this jack. That may be what I have to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this and, and drill my hole here and, and worry about the jack later. I mean, I can always do this and still jack it up. I mean, it's not that it won't work. It's just an inconvenience. I'm going to drill my hole about oh, three quarters of an inch from this end. Uh, when the hole's finished, it'll be about three quarters of an inch. I think I'm just going to worry, just put a 5 16 inch bolt in here. I think that would be plenty strong because there's really nothing strength wise. It's just mostly pulling in and out. Put a nice big divot there so that the drill should start easy. Seems like it's working. Oh, it's going to take a while. I'll get some regular oil and put on that. Black horse and I, our souls were one. Without any fear, I climbed upon the back of the one they said was me. His name was Fan of Six Fourteen. A one man horse to me proved true. The people would stare as we ride through. A sign which few have ever seen. His name was Fan of Six Fourteen. We're through. Well, for quick on and off access, I think I'm just going to use a wing. Uh, nut. I'll put a uh, couple of washers on here and just put a wing nut on this. Now this will just be for farm use. Now if I did have to take it someplace, which I don't ever anticipate doing, but if I did, I would change that out. But for here, just for ease of use, I'm just going to put a wing nut on it. And that should be more than adequate. In fact, I'm there's no give or play in that at all. I can move the whole darn machine with that. So that is more than sufficient for my purposes. Well, I'm happy to say that job's completely finished. The wheel's back on. You can see there's no play at all in that wheel. It's just as solid as it was when it was welded on. And I'm happy to report that that doesn't really get in my way. I mean, you gotta watch your knuckles a little bit, but that ain't too bad, really. I'm pretty happy with that. And like I said, if it does get in the way, I can always bend the handle and work it around. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Now we can move on to the next thing. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed my video clips on how I modified my sawmill to be able to take that wheel off and put it back on. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. Thank you very much. Blah, blah.